What up, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's Mega Spill the Tea episode. Y'all ready to get into all of this hot, juicy celebrity gossip and tea? I am. If you all are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell button and thumbs up this video, you guys. Please do it. It helps with the algorithm a lot. Now, let's get into the first story of the day. First up in baby news, Ashanti finally announced that she is pregnant with her first child with St. Louis native rapper Nelly. Let's take a look at the little um, commercial that she partnered with some company to reveal the big pregnancy announcement. Sean, how much time you need? Uh, I need about nine months. That was super cute. I mean, we've all known for months that she was pregnant. Nelly announced it, I think, literally when she first got pregnant. He couldn't hold it in. It was at his charity event here in St. Louis that he throws every winter. But she is indeed pregnant. She looks like she's about a good six months, six around six months, six, seven, maybe. Um, she also sat down this week and did a panel discussion where she showed the bump. Let's take a look. Look at her. She looks so cute. Look at the bump. She's carrying it well. She looks gorgeous. You could tell she is so happy. I'm so happy for her. She's in her 40s having her first baby with the love of her life. Guy got a funny way. Don't he? You just never know how things are going to end up. They literally were together for what, 10 years, broke up for about what, six, seven, eight years, got back together and are about to have their first child together. Nelly has two older children. Plus he took care of his sister who passed away from breast cancer. I believe breast cancer or he's ovarian cancers kids. But his children are grown now. His daughter literally just had her first baby. So he's a granddad now. And now he's about to have his first child with Ashanti. And it was announced this week too via Ashanti that they are engaged. He put a ring on it. Yes, he did. Why everybody talking about when they go get married? When they go get married? Well, now you got what you've been wanting. Okay. Here's another good look at her and her pregnancy look. Love this outfit. She looks gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. See what she had to say. So just for everyone to know, I mean, you're you're hearing it or seeing it live in person right here. In the news got <laughs> literally a minute ago, so just say. So right here, you can get a glimpse of her ring that he got her. I'm just so happy for them. Love wins. Hopefully, this go around is forever. Hope she has a safe, healthy pregnancy. And congratulations to the couple. Keisha Cole is back in the news because she has a new boot thing. Yes, she has a new man and he is a rapper. You know, Keisha Cole love her thug child. She love a rapper, a good NFL, NBA player, you know, she stick to her ones. Well, she is currently dating new rapper Huncho. Mm-hmm. She tweeted at Huncho mine. Okay, girl. Now, I don't know much about him. I've seen him like on Instagram or whatever. He reminds me of like future for some reason. He reminds me like a young future. I've never really listened to any of his music, but he's a handsome guy. He's really handsome. And I believe he's much younger than her, if I'm not mistaken. But they have been seen out and about and everything. And do I think this is going to be her forever? No, not at all. You know, I think her picker is still off. She's still going for these hood rapper in the 
entertainment world type men. Like, and he just starting to, you know, blow up from what I know and like gain like recognition, recognition. Girl, he gonna have who's in every area code, okay? But you know, maybe I'm wrong about him. Maybe he is a Christian man. <laughs> Maybe he read the Bible every day, every night, go to Sunday school and everything else. And a one woman, man, who am I to judge? Happy for Casey. Hopefully she don't get her heart broken because child, we tired. We tired for you, girl. We are tired, but they make a cute couple. He fine, girl. He fine. I give you that. He is fine. You guys know I have been keeping tabs on the Jeezy Genie, my divorce and custody battle. Literally earlier this week, last week, Jeezy filed for primary custody of their baby girl, uh, Monaco. And I did a video on it and I was like, you know, he doing team too much. If anything, y'all need to split custody, but don't take that little girl away from her mom. Like, what is the reason? Well, he said that the reason was is because Jeannie works too much and is always leaving Monaco with her mom and brother. Well, a lot has happened since then. It seems like every week there's something new going on with this divorce custody battle. So court documents reveal that Jeannie Mai allegedly was denying Jeezy visitation and that he only saw his daughter eight times this year thus far. Mm hmm. Yeah. So the court papers have been released and it says, and I quote, parties were married on or about March 27, 2021, and have one child who was born in Georgia in 2021 to M. Jenkins, a female child. Said minor child lived with both parties until the respondent moved out of the marital home with the party's minor child in October 2023. The respondent did not ask the petitioner if he agreed that the minor could be removed from the jurisdiction of this court. The petitioner has been an active and present father throughout the minor child's life. Respondent's rash decision to vacate the marital residence and essentially take the minor child away from her father was clearly not in the minor's child's best interest it could conceivably be concluded that such a sudden disruption of the continuity in the minor child's life will detrimentally affect said minor child's emotional state ew Despite petitioner being the minor child's father and consistently present in said minor child's life, the petitioner really has not had any significant parenting with the minor child all year. The petitioner and the party's minor child enjoyed a strong bond before the respondent abruptly vacated the marital residence. And it is important for the minor child to maintain her bond with both parents, not just the respondent. It is also important for the party's minor child to maintain a bond with her sister, the petitioner's older daughter. Well, what about her brother and the other kids? Well, okay, all right. Mm -mm -mm. As the mediation session at the at the mediation session held on or about February 26, 2024, the petitioner reluctantly entered into a private mediated agreement on temporary issues. The respondent did not allow the petitioner to see his daughter again until he was able to take the party's minor child on a spring break vacation with the petitioner's oldest daughter from March 3rd, 2024 to March 9th, 2024. Specifically, on or about April 2nd, 2024, petitioner sent a caretaker to California to retrieve the minor child for his agreed upon parenting time, which was supposed to be from April 2nd to the 8th, 2024. Petitioner's caretaker waited outside of the party's California home for several hours. Thereafter, the caretaker discovered that the respondent 
had moved out of the California home with no notice to the petitioner in 2024, the respondent has only allowed the petitioner to spend time with their daughter from March 3rd, 2024 to March 9th, 2024 for spring break with the petitioner's oldest daughter from a previous relationship and overnight on April 8th, 2024 for a total of seven nights this year. Wow, Jeannie straight dipped and moved out the crib and didn't even let him know and didn't give him Monaco as agreed. This is what he's saying. Wow. It says even worse, the respondent made the unilateral decision not to allow the petitioner to exercise his parenting time with the party's minor child because the petitioner owns pow pows. The petitioner has a second amendment right to own pow pows and he owned pow pows before the parties met after they began dating after the parties were married and after their minor child was born the petitioner's pow pow ownership was never an issue before the divorce case was filed wow 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 mm, 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 mm. now it goes on and on and on and on and on you can check out the full court filing right here on hollywood unlocked shout out to them if in fact what he's saying is true that's messed up you know despite whatever they got going on she should still be allowed to be around her father and vice versa like i don't agree that the mom just get say so over where the kid goes and when you get to see the kid and all of this type of stuff y'all are both her parents y'all need to sit down and come up with a schedule for her to be with you and to be with him you know and that's not fair if she is keeping him away from his daughter you know just because y'all going through a divorce and he don't want to be with you no more that's not right to keep that man away from his daughter if that is in fact true then Jeannie is dead wrong for that but after only a week or so, I don't even think it's been a full week, maybe there's been an update. Jeezy has taken back his primary custody request and files new motion for joint custody, according to TMZ. So it seems like something happened within the week. Remember, I posted that video of Jeannie Mai and Monaco where she was showing how she's been teaching Monaco meditation um for a while now and how she's caught on to it and I titled the video Jeannie Mai <laughs> is letting the world know she ain't giving up her baby that was a way to show not only the world but the course that they have a strong bond that her daughter is in a safe environment. She's present in her daughter's life. And her daughter is learning at an extreme high level. And I said that that was her ace card right there. She put her ace on the table and said, mm -hmm, now let's see what you got. Okay. So I think that might have shooken uh, Jeezy up like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat her in court and get primary custody of this baby. He wasn't. He wasn't. But I'm just happy that it seems like either they had a conversation or he had a change of heart. People was telling him probably he was wrong. And now he's decided just to go back to joint custody, which I think they should be doing in the first place. It should just be joint custody um, of their baby. And because she's just so sweet. She don't need to be going through all of this. It's it's just a mess. A few years back, Russell Simmons escaped <laughs> America and fled to Bali due to great charges against him. The fact that he fled the country makes me feel like he did it. Because why are you running? Why are you running, um, Woody Allen? <laughs> but no, not Woody Allen. It's that other director that uh, can't enter the United States because of what he did back in the day. But um, yeah, he's been over in Bali. A couple of his celebrity friends like Usher has gone over there and visited him. 
But uh, somebody that I didn't expect to be over there in Bali with him is none other than Lisa Ray McCoy. Yes, they are spending time with one another in Bali. Don't know if this is just a friendship type thing or if this is romantic at all. But she over there with him, child. She over there with him. Obviously, she don't think he didn't grape somebody. She over there with him. Um, here is a photo of them together. Here's a better look. It says Bali. Ain't Russell starting to look like a monk? <laughs> He's starting to look like Gandhi. Um, here's another steal of Lisa on his Insta story. And he captioned another morning with the gorgeous Lisa Ray. Now, I don't see Lisa Ray going over there on no, no friend friend type stuff. I think this might be something a little bit more. Because regardless of Rush, Uncle Rush running over to Bali, he still got a coin. Let me Google his net worth. Let me see what, what his net worth looking like. Let's see. Because, you know, she only messed with a man with a coin. That is a proven fact. And she said it out her own mouth. She ain't dating no broke man. All right. Okay. He is estimated to be worth $340 million. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see you, Lisa. The things people will do for a bag, honey. You know, I guess, I guess him and his sucker and sucker tash. All right, so then, oh, okay, he posted a swimsuit. I, there's no audio on this, but she posing. Oh, so she must have been posing thinking it was a picture, but he was videoing her. Y'all think they messing around? A part of me think they might be, or either he trying to shoot his shot with her. Child 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 could you date somebody that has been accused of grape i couldn't i couldn't i don't care how much money they got i just could not mm -mm, no and then the fact like i said once again that he fled the country nah nah i don't know how this looks for lisa ray it's not a good look to me but i'm gonna keep my eye on this to see what's going on and then I just need to know, has Lisa ever seen this video of Uncle Rush? And work it. Oh, oh, God. Okay, straighten your legs out. Roll the toes. Feet apart wide, wide, wide. Yes, relax everything. I got you. Let go. Let go. I ain't got nothing else to say, okay? Um, in some like troubling, kind of like weird, sad news, there is a guy that is going around doing a celebrity lookalike of Takeoff. Yeah. Does he look like Takeoff? Yes, he does, especially when he has on the Takeoff look. Here is the gentleman. I'm a celebrity lookalike. Of course, with these glasses on, I look like Takeoff. I'm a celebrity lookalike. Of course, I got the best ad lips. Mama! I'm a celebrity lookalike. Of course, when I'm out in public, people think they just seen the ghost of Takeoff. I get it. You got to make a coin. You know, there's 50 million celebrity lookalikes out there from Michael Jackson to Elvis and all of those things. I just think with takeoff passing away, it was what, only two years ago? I think it's just a little bit too soon. It's too fresh for everybody. It's too eerie. The way he died so tragically, so publicly, I just think that it's distasteful. He still has a mother and family members, father, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to see this. You know, that's that's it's just insensitive and it's painful to me. And I just think that it's distasteful. I don't think that he should be doing it, especially 
it's too soon for me. It's just too soon. Uh, Offset got wind of this and he did not like it. Not one bit. So Offset commented under dude's uh, post and said, no, you don't twin ish. Not funny. The dude uh, whose name is takedown underscore not underscore takeoff responded to offset and said no disrespect but i think i do and so do others but why we can't turn something negative into a positive long live takeoff like i get what the young man is saying but it's it's just it's too fresh it's too it's too much it's too much too soon too much too soon um he was such a young young man too you know it's i don't know i don't i don't like it i don't i don't like it i don't I don't, mm -mm. I don't like it at all. I don't. Do y'all think that he has a right to do it? That it's not wrong or morally incorrect to do? Like y'all let me know. I don't like it. It, it make put a sour feeling in my stomach. It makes me feel uneasy. And I know if I was Takeoff's mama and I saw this, it would make me feel some type of way and it wouldn't be happy. It would make me sad, you know? I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Yo, this Rick Ross and Drake beef, I don't even know where it came from when Drake did his diss record last week, which was good. It was a very good diss record. Um, I'm waiting on Kendrick to come back with his, but I didn't even know that Drake and Ricky Rose were beefing. Like I thought they was good, but apparently they're not. Well, they've been trading shots all week. Rick Ross came back with a response and his diss track, it was cool, but it was a little bit too laid back to me. You know, Ross was riding the beat and everything, but it just sounded like some Maybach music. <laughs> It was just too cruise control for me. Like we needed that, oh, uh, that that Ross, okay? And he wasn't really giving it. But um, like I said, they've been trading shots all week. Drake posted this photograph of Rick Ross's estate and said, Rick, you sandwiched in, which is on brand. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, because the vacant land not yours. This is the Miami starter pack. You living in a content creator crib. Hmm. Okay, you know. Hmm. That was mid. It was a mid diss, you know. Could have came better. Like there's so many things that you can talk about when it comes to Rick Ross. His eyes, his weight, his feet. <laughs> y'all know i stay going in on him his titties like there's so much you could say about that man well rose came back uh after several back and forth this is his reaction though uh after drake's record his disc record came out this was his initial response before he dropped his disc record <laughs> Hey man. <laughs> that was such a forced laugh like you ain't laughing for real and we know it like a hey man what but okay that was whack that was that was whack so on rick ross this record he said something about how drake didn't like his nose he never wanted to be black that's why he got a nose job drake did get a nose job if you go back and look at his before and after pictures he had like an oblong nose it kind of reminded you of like a uncircumcised peter weeder <laughs> it was very like long in this part and the nostrils were just weird looking so he got his nose done looks a lot better and so Rick Ross mentioned that, you know, he did it because he didn't want to look black. He never wanted to be black, calling him white boy and all of those things. So Drake screenshotted this text conversation between him and his mom and said his mom texts him and said, Arbs, Obs, the Internet is saying you got a nose job. You look the same to me in the kitchen today. I can't believe you would get one without me because you know I always wanted one. Don't tell me that you got tattoos without me and now this too. I honestly think that this is a text message conversation between him and himself, maybe from his mama phone, but whatever. So he responds, I would have gotten us a two for one deal. I want 
if I want ma it's coming from Rick Ross the guy I did songs with he's gone a loopy off the Manajaro he has oh a uh, Manjarno Manjarno Mangiorno. He hasn't eaten in days and it's turned him angry and racist. He's performing at proms for money. It's bad. Don't worry. We'll handle it. Now he said that man on Mangiorno. If he is, it ain't working. <laughs> Cause he's still fat, child. Um that, that was me as well. Like neither one of y'all good at dissing Like in this form Like neither one of y'all can read Um but I'm still Giving it to Drake at this point in the beef Because his track his diss record Was better of The two of theirs Um but Boy you got a nose job stop So then Rose Came back with this White boy white boy BBL Drizzy I got a question I saw you posted you got more money than Ricky Rose and let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went in a foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rosé, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rosé money, ain't none of my new in foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours, the countdown has begun. And that old jet you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old God is great. Hey, no, this is really funny, because I'm going to tell y'all, it's like battling against nerds. It's like sitting in a class, and you watching all the nerds put together their best science project to present to the class. Man, y'all can have it with that shit. Your nose fake, your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Your biggest homies in foreclosure. Come on, man. Go buy all them that's living with each other a big mansion and put the, the, the BBL Drizzy logo on the gates. Man, feed those, man. Come on, man. Do that, man. And y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old plane. It's a 1978. The cargo jet people gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, man. If something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this, be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and make sure the oxygen things in there because that's just for luggage. It wasn't for human beings. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I'm speechless. I'm I'm very much speechless. I didn't like that he was playing around with death and with the plain stuff like now we going to the dark side. Now it's getting weird. You know, that was unnecessary. The part about Birdman and, you know, it's been said that Birdman's house was in foreclosure or whatever. Because, you know, Birdman came out in support of Drake saying he got his back. But Ricky, you can't talk because Play was literally just online begging for help for his daughter last year. Year before last. Whenever it was. On doing GoFundMe's. So you, 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 you really can't talk either about helping the homies, you know? Um, but yeah, Drake does have a, a fake nose, I think fake teeth, fake abs. That is very much true. Very much true. We all know that to be true. <laughs> them abs are etch a sketched in there okay that still gets me to this day that that man went and got his stomach done he got lipo and abs child i will just never i will never i will never but baby it was the <laughs> well i can't even do it <laughs> it was that <laughs> what happened to that boy why would he do that noise and do it so perfectly i can do it too but i just can't do it right now for some reason but yo that's what took me out that's what took me out <laughs> i can't with these people i need for everybody to take a nap y'all know 
Rick Ross' baby mama wasn't going to be too far behind without having something to say. Tia Kemp took to social media, baby, and this is what she had to say about the beef. And Drake, I want you to call me because I got something to tell you personally. Mm-hmm. He talk about your family, but any racist too. He talk about Drake like a dog. <laughs> girl, he got a baby from a Russian woman look just like Drake. Beautiful little boy. Same age, one of that girl got them three churn from, baby. Them children the same age. That's why she be hiding in the in the hole somewhere every now and then. Cause she know he got a baby that her, her but why, last baby. What Rick Ross tell you break on um, Drake business allegedly? Cause he pillow talk with me every all through the night when he wants sandwiches and wake up. His sleep pattern. He talk oh, about not okay. his sleep pattern off. <laughs> he pillow talk with her at night when he wants sandwiches. <laughs> What is wrong with this lady? If he don't be with her, because one thing she going to do is either talk about you or talk with you, okay? She going to have your back or she going to be your worst enemy. Tia is crazy. She is crazy. And they're literally the same person. I need both of them to get off of my line immediately. Immediately, okay? I ain't got time for this at all. Huh. In more sassy news, Lil Uzi Vert was performing at Coachella, honey, and the baby, the girl, the doll, has been uh, in the ballroom with the girls learning the moves. Let's check him out. <laughs> Yes, queen. Yeah. <laughs> I could never, ever. JT, use a, use a, you taking one for the team, girl, because ain't no way in I could date a man that got more sass than me, honey. Baby, he got that wrap. He got his hair wrapped and molded, honey. All he missing is his neck strips, child. Pins across the boards, honey. Yes, queen. I ain't mad at you. He can dance better than most of your faves on Legendary, okay? What if Uzi Vert would have, if Legendary was still on on HBO Max, what if he would have been one of the judges, child, then got up and started voguing with the girls? That would have been a moment. Please somebody bring Legendary back. Oh, HBO Max sucks. Kai Sinet then got himself caught up in some mess. When will you young Negroes learn? What is wrong with y'all? Y'all get all this money and fame and still make the dumbest moves ever. And it's the same mess that's been going on for decades and decades and decades. And y'all still don't learn from others that came before you. To stop laying down with and letting them congregate up in your space. If you're going to lay down with, a, do your, your goods and then she got to go. As soon as you bust a nut, she need to be out the door. She need to be signing a non-disclosure. Phone need to be taken. Purse need to be taken. And we do what we do and then you got to go. Well, apparently Kasanet met this chick doing one of his live streams or whatever and told her to come through or she said she was going to come through and she came through child and they did what they did and I guess she was supposed to get paid for her services and she didn't and now she mad and was literally online trying to blackmail him it's raining outside of you're the thunder let's get into it I'm gonna pull up on you say on God can we can we pull up on you oh it's too much black <laughs> Say, oh God. Oh God. He said he wanted buddy, wanted buddy giving red flags in the phone right now, bro. But it's all right, though. It's all right, though, chat. I'll see you in court. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> okay, listen to me. Okay, I can explain, bro. Listen to me, chat. I can explain, bro. I can explain, all right, chat. Um, some weird shit going on right now. Some weird clout chasing shit going on right now, bro. And you know what's so crazy? Do you know that shit was in the beginning of 2023? All the shit that y'all see right now, it's 2023 shit, bro. You feel me? 
Like, damn, bruh. But yeah, we're not gonna talk about it no more. Let's not talk about mm. it. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. Flowers, rainbows, ice mice. Come on. Oh. You gonna wish you would have just paid me my money. Car! Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the news, the addy, the videos. Man, you know what some be cat. When all a can say is, let's not talk about it. Uh, it's a finesse. Man, ain't no finesse. You played your you were supposed to pay me my other half to keep quiet. You did it. I hit you up. You didn't want to respond. You thought I was going to take the little chump change that you paid me not to say nothing. No, I need all my funds. I'm talking about. Or I'm just going to put this all over the world and I'm going to get my funds from everybody else. Oh, we taking people to court? You going to wish you would have just paid me my money. Come on now, y'all. Of course he was going to come back with a story saying he going to sue me. How else was he going to look good to the vlogs? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. Y'all so funny. Y'all believe anything in my Say the sky is fucking purple. You gonna believe it. Ain't nobody suing me. He lying. He gets capping. He can text my phone right now. Ask me to eat my pussy. Sorry. Please take it down. Stop playing. <laughs> Another thing. If if your house and all this stuff is under NDA and all this shit. And you can't record and all this shit, Why did you call me back three weeks ago to come sign it? NDA then and promise to pay me money after that and before you don't try to flip this around you got exposed because you didn't come with the second half of the payment that you hit me up about let's tell about how you hit me up about all of this then he up here sleeping with somebody with greasy weave <laughs> you can't trust nobody that put a whole can of oil sheen on they hair like girl she looked dusty and broke and girl you're literally online admitting to trying to extort this man saying that you want the other half of your money to qu keep quiet like what is it exactly that you have on him did you secretly film y'all like what's going on because that's against the law dumb dumb and Kai, I hope you did not pay this girl no money. Oh my God. Like, where is your mama? Because I would have slapped the dog mess out of you. Because you moving stupidly. Y'all just be sitting up sleeping with anybody. Like, mm, anybody with a big booty. She look like she dush. <laughs> and you ain't even supposed to do that. Like, every week, just like Jeezy and Jeannie Mai, there is more and more and more tea coming out about Diddy. First of all, shout out to all of you who watched my Corinne Steffens video where I talked about how in her first autobiography, Confessions of a Video Vixen, back in 2005, she had been exposed, Diddy and Irv Gotti, for their, what should I say, weirdo ways. Uh, if you have not checked out that video, I will have it linked down below in the description box. But um, I also will be doing another Corinne Steffens video that will be dropping next week. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be really, really good. But anywho, so uh, news has come out that um, the victim from uh, the New Year's Eve Pow powing from back in 1999, was it? 2000? I forgot what year it was. With the whole Sean Diddy J Lo situation, came out and said, you know, that Sean was not the one that pow powed her. And he's been saying that all he did that night was protect himself. Um, but, uh, the victim has once again said that Shine was not the one that did it. Now, you know, Shine was in jail for over 10 years or so um for this had his life taken away from him he got out he's been on his political journey over in Belize <clears throat> him and Puff made amends they've done several things with each other throughout the years most recently when Diddy got his like entertainer lifetime achievement award from BET Shine came out and performed but Shine actually did a video today as I'm filming this where he discusses everything that happened, how it has affected him and how, you know, he's been 
telling the truth all of these years. Let's take a listen. When you hear, um, you know, the victim saying that it was Diddy that shot her, that is what is the most remarkable. Oh, you didn't see that? I saw it. Okay. And that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations and in those accusations he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting and that is what stands out to me the most because you know I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward uh, and so um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy. Um, but my political enemies and, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal. Um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew that that was the story. I'm just saying that I maintained my innocence all this time. I said I was defending myself. I didn't get into who did what. Um, but the victim is telling you who did what. And another, I, I understand that there are other witnesses. Is she, is she accurate, sir? I'm not going to get into that. But it does open wounds. And um, certainly, I am relieved that uh, people are saying what the truth is that, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. I maintain that I never shoot nobody, um, that there were other guns there. I always said that. That has not changed. And that is the testimony that came out. Um, fragments were never removed. Uh, so there was never any forensic testing to say who it was. Uh, but the victims are vindicating me. Uh, witnesses are vindicating me. But I have, I have moved on. I, I'm not trying to relive that. Uh, and, and so I am appreciative of whatever contributions uh, Diddy has made um, to help the people of Belize. Uh, I wish him well. I pray for him and I pray for the alleged victims. And, and if, if it is true, may justice be served. If it is not, um, it, it, it's a tragedy because a, a, a global icon um, would have been destroyed. He better than me because he just came out of his own mouth saying that he was the fall guy. That man let you go to jail for all of those years and do that bid for something that you did not do. Um, You know, it was always said that Sean got the crap end of the stick. He didn't get the same lawyer as Diddy. Uh, he didn't have the same legal team or anything like that. Like Puffy literally left him out there to dry, literally, on his own. Now, I don't know if he cool with it or him because since he got out of prison, Puffy has made contributions uh, to Belize where he's from. I honestly think that he paid him off. I do. I think that he gave him some money and paid him off to keep silent and for doing that bid and held, you know, held him down because ain't no way. I was in love with Shine. Quick story. While he was in prison, I was so in love with him that I wrote him a letter in jail. <laughs> I found out what jail he was at and his um, prison number and I sent him a letter to child. I don't know if he ever got it, but I sure sent it. Also in Diddy News, I don't know if this dude is a rapper or whatnot, but his name is Loose Cannon and he's married to uh, Bougie. Wasn't, wasn't that her name on One More Chance on Zeus? Wasn't her name Bougie? Anywho, they didn't got married or whatever, and they be on their little interview circuit. And he had a wild story about Diddy that I don't know if y'all ready for. It. Let's take a listen. But like I see, like when Diddy, Carl Winslow, we was at the party, uh -huh. and you know we just chilling like that. And me, that's the childhood and, when he told me every, that. Everybody know me, right? Right. I'm a, I'm a goof. I'm funny and stuff like yeah. that. So I hear just wearing out. So I'm like, huh? <laughs> like hearing that, I'm like, on six. Oh, who's wearing this out? Right. Kicking the door, poof. 
kicking the door. I seen, I looked, I seen Carl Winslow put yeah, his that's head the father. Up. Ain't that the Big father from, like, from, from Family Matters? <laughs> yes. Oh, no Carl way. Oh, 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 the dad. Oh, the dad. Oh, the dad. The dad. The dad. The dad. I swear to God, dead homie, neighborhood crib. So when I see, <laughs> wow. I see, I seen that. Man. And then, so who who was piping Carl? Uh, Diddy? Yeah, yeah, Diddy was. So when, wow. when when I see when I seen that, cause right, Diddy came back and he he was telling me he was like, it's nothing more enjoyable than having a man do something for some money. I'm like, cause that's crazy. Oh, no, that's wild. This is one visual that I know I never deserved or needed in my life. And I want to say he lied, but to make up such a lie. <laughs> It's like what? Like to put Diddy with Carl's with Carl Winslow from Family Matters is the most idiotic, barbaric thing I could have ever heard of. It's like it's so out there that it gotta be true. But then again, it's like get out of here, get out of here. But ain't he gay though anyway? But but then in another part of the story, he told some he went past the room and heard somebody getting it in, and he kicked open the door. Why would you kick open the door? Especially at somebody else's house. That don't sound right. That don't sound right at all. But I don't know. I don't know if that is a true story or not. But that is some wild-ish right there. If I've ever heard of it. Lastly, um, you know, like I was telling you guys earlier, Coachella went down last week. It was the first weekend. All of the celebrities and things were out. And Jaden uh, Smith was there as well as his good friend, Justin Bieber. And take a look at the way they like to greet each other. world is just going to hell in a handbasket i don't i don't even know what to say no more i really don't i really don't and you greet people how you want them i that man married with a wife <laughs> you walking up on Haley husband basically dicking him down in public in front of everybody and Justin just turn around. Oh, hey, boo. Give him a kiss on the cheek. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm. It's just too much. I'm going to be it. I really am. I'm going to sleep. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this week's Mega Spill the Tea because I'm spent. I, I just, I need a cleanse, okay? Some bless oil, some something. I need to go outside in the rain. Melodies from heaven. Rain down on me, rain down on me. Like that's what I need right now, a cleansing because this world that y'all live in, y'all can have it, okay? Y'all can have this cesspool called earth because y'all are crazy and weird and I'm sick of it.